Great, great. Welcome all, welcome all. The list is going. Mm -hmm. We see Lillian Bonas, we see Mayur, we see Octavian Chua, Sipti, mm -hmm. Zahra Jivi, Zainab Karinje, Taribuni Sana, mm -hmm. this is Empower Academy. We organize this event every end of the month. And um, we basically meet here to talk about different issues, different topics. We meet different um, experts from different uh, sectors that share with us inside or industry knowledge from where they're from. And of course, you get to engage with the speaker. You get to engage with us, ask questions. Feel free. This is a free platform. Ask as many questions as you can. We are here to learn and we're here to grow. Let you not leave, sure. um, don't mm -hmm. leave this room today, this virtual mm -hmm. room with, you know, with nothing. I'm yeah. sure there's something for you to gain and learn. So please feel free to engage with us. Great, so welcome all. I think we should start right away. So as we always want to know how you're feeling. So how do you feel? Please, uh, let's fill the chat box and tell us how you feel this afternoon. How are you feeling, guys? How are you feeling? We are just checking on the chat box to see how you feel this afternoon. So you could type in, I mm -hmm. feel great, I feel yeah. good. How do you feel joining us in this virtual session, in this virtual room? You see Lucy excited. Eh? Thank you. Mgolenai says she feels super excited. Lucy mm -hmm. says excited. Joyce. Yes, and also mm -hmm. uh, a part of a uh, point to check. Please, when we are typing on the chat box, you see uh, uh, above on the chat, there is uh, written a two. So please select panelists and attendees, not just panelists, because we'll be the only one to see. So we only see uh, Joyce, you have said good, Mgole. Uh, I, I mean, I feel super excited, but with, uh, we actually feel that others who are the attendees won't be able to see. So please, let's make sure that we collect that as part of the setting. Yeah. Mm. So make sure you select uh, to send this message to panelists and attendees mm -hmm. so that all of us can get to know how your feelings, yeah. all of us can get to know your views and your questions. All right. So we're getting Mayur says he feels pumped. Mm -hmm. Francisco Mayani, he feels happy. Mm. Um, Khalid Mohammed says, I'm great. Hope you all are doing well. We're for awesome. Sure. We're doing great. We're all good. Thank you mm -hmm. for joining us. Um, we have Joyce Oladeinde. Oladeinde, she says she feels good. We have Nancy Mella feeling amazing, just kind of speak, but I'm here. Thank you oh, so much. So Napole, well, sure. stay well. Mm -hmm. um, Lillian says, I feel great, but I'm in Istanbul and we have total lockdown, but overall I'm excited for this. Yay. Great. Thank you for joining us all the way from Istanbul. Mm -hmm. We have Marina. She says, I'm looking forward to seeing what Fahad has in store for us. Mm -hmm. Fahad, this is for you. Mm -hmm. So, yep, keep telling us how you keep feel. Keep telling us so as we, I think we're about to move forward. So yeah. we, we wait maybe for the last two attendees to just tell us how they're feeling. And then we'll kickstart. Mm -hmm. So here's the flow of this event. We're going to start with an energizer. Pierce here is going to energize the room with a mm -hmm. simple small activity for all of us to join. Please, all of us kick in, join in the activity and share in as much as you can. It's gonna be fun. And the whole session throughout with Fahad, feel free to ask him any questions. Feel free to ask us any questions. And um, yeah, let's make this fun. It's our event, it's our day, and let's keep it exciting. Great, so since we're out of time, so let's just move to an energizer. So are you ready? I hope you are ready. Let's make the chat box full of energy, full of fire. So um, our energy is called uh, uh, Picture Charade Challenge, where now the instructions are just simple. Uh, a picture will be displayed for five seconds, I mean for three seconds. Yeah, three seconds, where you have five seconds to view the picture and additional five seconds to write your response in the chat and tell us, uh, what's shown on the picture. So it may be either an animal, a person, uh, maybe a music instrument. So just anything. But the moment you see the picture, you have three seconds to check it, five seconds, then you tell us what that picture is. And the winner will be the one who actually like the correct answer 
asap so don't just don't wait don't go and google uh, so i hope you're all smart and ready all right we yeah. have people saying bring it on Aha, okay great so our first picture will be basically from music instrument so tell us what this music instrument is ready One, Aha, two, three. three. tell us what music instrument the first is one to comment with the right answer will Marina, be our winner piano brenda piano keyboard lizzie okay okay mayul midi keyboard okay harid muhammad sound mixer keyboard drum okay. drum kids okay so let's see who is that winner for first ready it's mid keyboard guys not piano so i think mayul not a drum kit was that mayul eh not a keyboard yet. yeah so not piano not keyboard not sound mixer mayul it's yes mayul is our first winner taking up the throne so what instrument is this this one guys is so easy eh? come on guys come eh, on guys the first one, one. okay okay bye, okay we bye. have the winner <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right so awesome i think Lizzie, let's go to the answer yeah we so okay lizzy Actually, this is the first, but now she didn't uh, set the setting for panelists and attendees. Guys, make sure when you're sending your, your chat, put it, pa I mean, panelists yes. and Select attendees. to send your, 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 your comment to a panelist mm. and attendees. So the it's... answer is violin. And thank Great. you, Denise. Uh -huh. You're the and winner for this section. Next is, what instrument is this? So let's see. Some piano, 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 grand piano, mayul, piano, organ. Organ. Okay. 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 And the winner is Grand Piano, and this is Mayul. Mayul wins again. Yeah, okay. Mayul, are you are you googling? I hope <laughs> I hope he's not. I yeah. hope he's not on Google <laughs> okay. somewhere. Okay, Grand Piano, great. And our next is now we're moving to animals. Mm hmm. Okay, Jonah says I think I won that one. Okay. Ah, that's true. Eh? Let's see. Yeah, ah, Joanna was the first. True. Okay, true, great. True. Now this one goes to Joanna. Great. Okay, animal. What is? I mean, what animal is, is this? <clears throat> let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Okay, there's someone who said husky. Some yeah, we have husky. We have wolf. wolf. We have wolf. We have husky. Joanna um, husky. Okay, wolf husky. Fox, husky dog. Uh huh. Okay, and this goes to the winner is Siberian husky. So we don't have a. Winner Do we have a winner for sure? Let me check. We don't have a winner. <laughs> and someone just said, "Fad, please, can you record this, please, and share it if possible?" And I travel. I was looking for it. Uh -huh. I think. I think it'll be yes, recorded. this will be recorded and mm. it will be posted on our social media platform. So Octavian, please look out after this session. Mm. Uh, it will be posted on, on Instagram, on our Instagram, on our YouTube and uh, Facebook and all our social channels. Great. So last let's one. move. Last, guys, what animal is this? Lizzie, dear, 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 dear. Someone said it. Rain. Antelope. Antelope. Reindeer. Aha. Okay. And this is dear. Okay, so many winners. Mm -hmm. All of you guys are smart. Yo, I think we're ready to kickstart our, um, our our discussion. Fahad, I hope you're ready. I'm sure you have a lot to share with us and a lot of people are looking forward to hey, you. Uh, hey, Fahad, how are you? Uh, I'm doing amazing as usual. Yo. I hope everyone is feeling amazing. I love how people are engaging and I hope it's going to be throughout the whole session. Everyone is going to be engaging like this and <laughs> yes, yes, yep, yep, yep. So yeah, we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, as mentioned earlier, today we want to dive deep into um, our tourism sector. We know it's one among uh, fast growing sectors in Tanzania. We yeah. have, uh, you know, despite the pandemic and everything that has happened in the country and worldwide in general, we still see there's huge opportunity in this sector for young people to be involved exactly. and, uh, you know, to tap into the opportunities that yeah. are available. And I think you're the right person to bring that to the table and help us see things that we are not seeing. You've mm -hmm. literally traveled across Tanzania and you know so much that we don't know. So please, the floor is yours. You could start by introducing yourself. I'm sure there are people mm -hmm. who don't know you. They're seeing you, meeting you for the first time today on this platform. So please. 
it's yours um, now. So first of all, I would I, I like how my brother here brought up all the energy and brought everybody's attention into the webinar. Mm -hmm. And as a traveler, I would really want to introduce myself as a traveler. So please allow me to share a screen. And let me it up for my young kid. So you guys ready right now? We we're gonna share a beautiful screen and. Um, it's a video of, from Tanzania, and this video I took it in, um, in so many places in Tanzania. Uh, so we're going to start over again. So basically, I took this video in so many parts of Tanzania, and it's just a glimpse of how beautiful Tanzania is. And I hope this one is going to hype up everyone to the webinar today. And probably for those who have, haven't started traveling, after this video, they're going to start traveling. So mm -hmm. enjoy. Ready? Let's go. Look at the documentary so. from National Geographic. Yeah. Well, that's the dream right there. Huh? <laughs> for sure, for sure. This is something that should be. Um, so allow me to, to, to start by, first of all, introducing myself. Uh, I go by the name of Fahad Rajab Mugyasho. But for those people in social media, they prefer calling me Fahad Fuad. Um, I'm also the founder of a platform, a travel platform known as Unzip Tanzania, whereby the name Unzip Tanzania came from an opening, opening up Tanzania for you and for me and for my family and friends and for all those people who have joined this webinar. Maybe that to some point they know Tanzania more than I do, or to some point Unzip Tanzania, we know Tanzania more than everybody else does. And we decided to open up Tanzania to the domestic market, but also to the world market so that everybody, especially for the local people, we could get to see how beautiful our mother nature and mother country is blessed with so many beautiful uh, places and beautiful things to see. So everyone here, I believe today we are here just to, to get to, to hear a lot more on uh, things and opportunities that are found in sector Zima ya, ya Utali. And I wouldn't really want to take so much time and talking about other things or stealing your time. I would like to ingia kwenye madini, madini yenye ya Tanzanite. As, as you all know, Tanzania is the home of Tanzanite and I believe Fahad is gonna give you the Tanzanite of the tourism industry today. Um, so first of all, there's so many things uh, any person could actually venture to uh, as, a, as a person who wants to venture in the tourism or travel industry. Uh, there's, I mean, from, from just being a digital nomad, uh, a person, a tour guide, you could be a chef, you could be a yoga instructor, and so many other things. So please allow me to share a screen again. And um, this time we're going to dive in into, into the... I don't know where you are. Here you are. So the travel opportunities that are found in uh, in Tanzania. I hope everyone can see the the screen, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So so to kick start with the with the opportunities. Um, as when when you're speaking about travel company, the first thing that a person usually thinks about is I have to open a tour company, right? Um, so the first thing that you could venture or invest in, in while, while, while you are trying to, to step your game into the travel and tourism industry is you can start by thinking of a tour company. And tour company, there's so many of different kinds. For some of them, there's tour companies, there are travel agencies, 
there's uh, booking sites zenyewe um there's um tunaweza tukasema kuna 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 domestic tour companies kuna safari tour companies and so many forth so unapojaribu kuingia katika travel industry leo hii jaribu tu kujua ni which industry ama uh, unataka u specify kwenye engo ipi kwa sababu kuna engo nyingi sana anyone can venture in kwa sababu a, a safari tour company is very different from um, um, an, a, a travel um, agency kwa nini i'm saying a travel agency is different from a tour company a safari company yenyewe inakuwa directly physically involved in the grounds while a tour agent kazi yake ni kufanyia bookings kutoka mtu labda kutoa sehemu fulani kwenda sehemu nyingine and for anzip tanzania what we have been uh, initially doing for the past four years is we've been in a mix of a tour agency but also at the same time giving you that field experience because we don't only book the experiences for you but we also go out there and get to see how beautiful uh, mother mother nature is uh, in so many places um, throughout uh, tanzania so chakwanda fikiria ni unataka u invest kama ni una hela kwa sababu ku invest kwenye tour company nayo it needs uh, it needs funds and among the things that i'm going to share i'm going to share a list of variable things that from investment sikiwa kubwa na ukiwa hauna kitu uh, labda una book mfukoni and then labda ni abando tu and how can you start venturing uh, katika travel agency ama katika travel um, business na ukiwa na hiyo book yako i'll say um mm-hmm. Another thing you could invest in is a uh, property. You can become a property owner at any time at any given time. Um what wengi huwa nafikiria having a property it's a must for you to probably labda we invest kwenye a five star hotel ama kwenye a big um a big shamba heka kama 10 ndo invest your property hapana. Nowadays with the digital nomads and the digital world maisha yamebadilika. That means what tunaweza hata tukawa tuna Airbnb and you could make money uh, and host travelers across the world into your space. I have a friend of mine um he owns a place called Banana Eco Farm. Um his story is very fascinating because sababu mshikaji how he started he started with a tent outside his home. They own a shamba and their home is uh, is in between the the banana farm. So what the guy did he invited one friend of his and the friend was like yo I like the farm and the shamba experience. So how about you 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 try and register yourself on an Airbnb platform and you watu wote sio kila mtu anakuja anakuja Tanzania kupata experience I usually tell people if you are coming to Tanzania please don't come expecting kuona magorofa ama sijui miondo mbinu kivile we're coming to give you that connection between nature and your spirits so and that's what we get to host most of the people that come from abroad who are hawaii tanzania kwa sababu labda ya 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 ya, ya kuona magorofa kama sisi wa bongo tunapoenda dubai na china you know they come to connect with with the mother nature so the guy advised the guy why don't you open up an airbnb platform and within your shamba just a small space out of the shamba you could clean it up and you could put a tent don't even start by building a house just go by a tent a tent which by now it cost around like moja na stili and you put a tent and you put your business on an airbnb and from there on utaanza kupata wateja and trust me this this guy right now has over 10 rooms and over two properties one in arusha and another one in kilimanjaro so you can start from anywhere and you don't really have to have a, yes it's okay to have a big dream but unaweza kaanza na baby steps mfano pia mwingine in the property ownership unaweza uka ukaomba hata kibali katika serikali na ukapewa eneo la kufanya campsite uh, for for those who have traveled around with anzip tanzania tunajua kwamba anzip tanzania we love camping so it's an opportunity also we need a lot of campsites for fun in morogoro unaweza hata dar es salaam sometimes you unachoka una tuku kaa within the uh, four bricks you know left right and center umekaa kwenye maukuta sometimes you just want to sleep and wake up to a very beautiful view labda kimbigi ama labda mbezi fulani hivi hata mbagala unaweza kupewa kaeneo kakubwa hivi and in a breeze nzuri and mtu ukatisha putting up your your campsite over there um 
Another thing that a person could venture in is become a lead photographer. Now, I, I've decided to connect, I would want to connect uh, between the tour company and the lead photographer. The lead photographers usually come in, in a way that they, they help the people that are coming to, to the country, to the, to the hosting country, people are coming to Tanzania now. And either of two, either they need a photographer to take photos and moments of them, you know, these memorable moments. So, so say we, um, uh, before we used to see Santorini in Greece used to be the wedding destination. But nowadays, Serengeti and Zanzibar has become a wedding destination in Africa. So apart from just our local content creators thinking kwamba, mimi lazima nipigie harusi ya bwana mushi na bwana kimario, they could also invest on digitally promoting themselves in different platforms that when these clients come to do their destination wedding, they become their destination photographers within the country. But also we have different agencies. For instance, right now with all the COVID situation that may happen and um, the whole world so kuna tour agencies right now, they still need to do marketing. They still need to do advertising for, for their brands and companies. And also some, they still, because kuna nchi zingine sasa hivyo shanza kupata vaccination. So watali wanaanza kusafiri kuja different destinations kwa fano Tanzania, wanaenda Zanzibar, wanaenda Mafia, wanaenda Ngorongoro and other places also. So what happens, those travel agencies labda kwa sababu kwa mwaka moja o miaka miwili, they had constrained their budget so much. It means that they can't really travel the whole team to come and create content and advertising materials for their brand. So what they do, they contact photographers from the destination country. So for instance, hey, if I had, we, we have seen your work probably from online and we believe with your creativity, you could create content for maybe black travel passport in uh, America. Ama utunezo tukasema, Travel agency or your tailor who are in the travel star, the travel companies in Yigine to Fort Fort. But another part whereby a person could be a lead photographer is when you photographic safari. So there's two things a person and an end up Wangalia Wanyama, and end up Wangalia to Wanyama. Oh, that is a lion. Oh, that is a zebra. Oh, hippopotamus. Wonderful. Lakini, on the other side, there's a person ambaye kuna watu wengine. Wow, lifestyle yao ni kusafiri kupigia picha za wanyama. Either for business ama as a hobby. And being in the industry, I've, I've witnessed a lot of old people. Waze wale washakua retired, wanahela. They can invest in whatever amount of gadgets they want in the world and they can afford it. These are the guys that travel the world just to take photos and live their life in uh, in, in unajua wazee huwa wanapenda sasa kuanza ku create uh, memories uh, which which is very different from our culture culture yetu wazee akianza kukuzeeka life sana inabadilika anaanza kukaa ndani wenzetu uh, wakianza kuwa wazee wanaanza pia kuwa active kwa sababu retirement uh, money now sinakuwa kubwa so they get to also now travel now when they travel these are old people they don't know these uh, cameras and equipments and all these uh, dslr so they usually look for a host lead photographic safari uh, leader who now tells them because now they maybe it's their first time coming into africa i'm coming into tanzania so na kutaza the lead photographer na chofanya ni anamfundisha yule mtedia jinsi gani ya kupiga picha kwa sababu for instance for a person like me as a wildlife photographer i've been in the wild for quite a long time so i know the best timings i know the best angles and even if mtu anakuja ni kwa ajili ya kuuza picha or to go and do business abroad it's easy for them to learn more from a local person than coming with another person who talk about Dubai, Aji Foundation. Mm -hmm. So there's an opportunity when you content creators sana. Lakini ukiacha two content creators when you upande wa photographic, tunaona kwamba hata sisi nchi kwa mfano, tanapa ina, ina ajiri sasa hivi photographers ili kuweza to keep up with the world speed. So everything now happens digitally. We have moved successfully from the analog system, now we are on digital uh, digital system. 
And what happens with the digital system, you cannot do anything without content. Content is the most powerful thing in our generation right now. So if you are a photographer and you are in a swamp full of other wedding photographers, I'm a other portrait photographer, you could try a new experience of becoming a travel photographer in their limited uh, opportunities, opportunities nyingi sana. You can get opportunities in Tanapa. You can get opportunities in Tanzania Tourism Board and become their photographer. And all those associations, Amazo, Unakuta, Tanzania, Kama Inchi, na Ministry Yake, Otali, Inatoa opportunities za Zakazi, Kwa Yilia Wale content creators. Um, Another thing right here whereby this is whereby people now, everyone and Abu Fikiria travel. I want to be a travel influencer. I want to be a hotel influencer. I'm an Atakakua restaurant influencer. So basically what happens here is that people with a little bit of following are now converting their following into making money for them. So the, the most, okay, content is power but there's nothing as powerful as a word of mouth, as a referral. So, leo hi, kwa sababu mfan o tu, fahad labda metembelea same to fall to fall to. It's easy for Nancy to come and believe fahad nikimuambia tembelea hotel if plani. Hata kama yeye hajari kufika, hata kama if the hotel is so expensive, the Nancy would still take my recommendations because probably I've seen better or I am used in that industry. So hotels now have understood that, that uh, solution and that system, and now they have started using human beings to market, meaning that influences from hotels, from travel companies, tour companies, and so many other things. And also that leads us to also restaurant influences. Influences, CO2, um, important for you to become a hotel influencer. I'm a for a travel company like Anzik Tanzania Hapana. You can also be an influencer maybe. Um, I've seen actually a lot of ladies in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. They have now started picking up. For instance, they would go maybe um, to Cape Town Fish Market. Uh, I'll just mention names so that we can all get that um, to Tamani Vile Vyakula Vyakule. I'll say, um, and once these people get to Cape Town Fish Market, they take probably nice photos of either Hayati, Cape Town, uh, it could be Samaki Samaki, and all these photos, when they post them on their social media, they recommend these people automatically, without even telling them, you know, a person might just put a geotag, Palinju Akasema, Ata Sisame Kitu, Samaki Samaki, Apakasame just had a good day uh, dining with my friends. Lakini Palinju, you can't go Samaki Samaki. Tari people, Ambo, and Wako, Wanaelea, Masala, yeah, digitally, they now start moving from probably a person we can hear, who had a plan of you and end up with a walk to a point where now a person now decides to go and have their lunch or dinner at any of the restaurants. So people are now taking opportunity and Vijana, this is our, this is one of the advantage. We are always fast. So when we see opportunity, we go with the trend. So Vijana in Guinea, we have the opportunity here. Na kuanza kuwa restaurants and hotel influencers. But one of the other thing a person could actually be is become a food photographer, which we could actually see on a slide uh, somewhere else. <laughs> so a person, apart from just you being an influencer, you could also be a food photographer for those, excuse me, for those hotels and my restaurants. And a person could make money out of that because hotels, restaurants, Airbnbs, transportation facility companies, all these people need that which they're in the tourism sphere. So when you as an influencer get to partner up with them and share this great opportunity from maybe your audience to their, you drive your audience to their audience, you could make money out of that. Like any, there's a person who asked me yesterday because I posted on my Instagram, if you have any question, please ask me. And the person asked me, is it important to have a lot of following for you to become an influencer? And another person asked me, is it important to have a photographic skill for you to become a travel influencer? So these two questions were very great questions and I would like to tackle, uh, tackle them a little bit. So influencer ni nani? Ni mtu yote mwenye ushawishi. 
Nancy ulikuwa na ushawishi ukanipigia simu mjo kwenye webinar and I accepted kwa sababu ya ushawishi wako empower as a brand mna ushawishi kwa vijana ndio maana tunaona kuna participants kwenye webinar yetu so anyone could be an influencer lakini zile categories sasa categories kuna kuna micro influencers kuna celebrity influencers na kuna domestic influencers kuna international influencers lakini pia kitu kingine kizuri kujua ni una, una stick na kitu gani ama engo gani if you are a restaurant stick to being a restaurant influencer you will grow faster and better so you, you don't not necessarily need to have a lot of following for you to actually start becoming an influencer you could start from where you are now you can build up your following in your numbers as you're going day by day like any now do you need a photographic skill for you to become an, a travel influencer hapana what happens is as an influencer for instance mimi if i had an influencer naweza nikampigia mshikaji wangu anaitwa mayur na kamwambia mayur wewe ni mpigia picha can you please take me to um, maybe a hotel and because I'm an influencer and I'm the one in contact with the hotel I will communicate with the hotel prior listen I am coming with my photographer to your hotel please host us these are our terms maybe you're getting free accommodation maybe you're getting paid out of your stay so a person now becomes aware Okay so photographer na anajua kwamba mimi naenda I'm going to get a weekend getaway I'm also going to in return probably get to give this influencer photos so always look in a way of partnership especially while starting uh, your, your 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 journey to becoming an influencer another thing that I would like to jump in is domestic tour company a lot of people especially when we were starting four years ago as an zip Tanzania we so most of the people the main intention was to have a big international or multi international tour company or a tour agency while in reality what tanzania took a million 59 almost 60 million in in the statistics that were done in 2019 2020 whereby katika hiyo statistic vijana ama the social status ya watu wana uwezo wakati mpaka wa juu at least there are 20 million people So imagine all these 20 million people that are just chilling out there they are going probably to Kidim with they're going to elements over the weekends and they really don't know what to do yes sometimes we have the beach for instance Dar es Salaam we are along the coastline uh, our friends from Zanzibar who are joining um they they they, they you coming from Zanzibar you might also be on the coastline but sometimes you just need a, a, a drive and a little bit of a push for you to actually start going out there and exploring so a domestic tour company could be an ideal opportunity for you to start your journey in a travel and a tourist industry one fun now you can speak for instance for my my experience maybe monyere as far i started off my first tour we were 11 people and these 11 people five of them they were my friends five of them they were my friends from my circle the other person came with a car alikuwa uh, yeye to offer gari um, the other person was a, a tour guide the other person was a photographer for our first event and we had only two if not three paying clients you know but we started just by 11 people so i see a lot of uh, of opportunities right now katika industry ya tourism especially if people that are going to be coming into the market that are going to be focusing on the domestic industry rather than just focusing your way out why don't you first serve the local market and as you grow by then you can now think big and now attract the the cream de la cream market which is the the european and the american and the in, um, asian market kuja tanzania lakini anza na nyumbani kwanza kama anzip ilivyoanza na sasa hivi uzuri anzip imefika point now we are attracting people from the foreign foreign destinations now to partner up with us foreign destination to travel with us kwa nini we started off just as a tour company so i have a lot of people that usually send me um dms and questions on how to start all i'm telling them right now is all they have to do is just start wherever you are you could start your tour company just by your mom and dad or by your brothers and sisters or you could even become um 
uh, people on your social media and your circle kidogo tu na ukafanikiwa ku, kuanza kutoa kampani yako ya domestic another opportunity that most people are chukulia poor is becoming a city driver internationally for instance right now if you go to egypt if you go to istanbul taxi drivers wa kule ama city drivers wa kule these are the ones pia kwa namna moja au nyingine wanatumika kama tour guides yani mimi leo hii nikienda bali if i cannot afford to pay a tour agency i will end up paying a, 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 an uber driver and tell the guy listen switch off your application and what i will do and i will pay you some amount for you taking me around so again it's just an approach a person can be an uber driver can be an, a normal driver but how do you now set up your base and becoming that one popular driver who takes people around because again it's just branding hakuna kitu chochote kinachoshindikana in the digital world brand yourself and become good at what you're doing in short period of time you'll find yourself having a, a probably 10 cars and other drivers ambao wao are employed to showcase people around i'm fine i'll give you a, a realistic uh, opportunity here serena hotel hires um uh, cars from uh, specific companies right um unakuta labda hotel flani labda hapo mjini labda holiday in in accord alpha for 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 hotel transfer airport transfer ama to city tour so wewe as an owner labda uko na magari yako mawili matatu and you don't know what to do with the car you could either approach a hotel you could approach a tour company and say listen let's enter partnership i will give you my car you do business with it end of the month give me my percent you take your percentage end of the day the hotel will definitely take the offer kwa sababu it serves their clientele kwamba watapata gari kwa uhakika instead of just having taxi drivers now they will have a clean car you know and stuff like that um we have also, we have questions sorry to cut you short we have sour. questions here from uh, our chat from our Q&A box we have someone Marina Katanga she's asking are there any legal requirements to start a local tour company and another question from Lucy she is asking how do you monetize uh, your work and actually make money while uh, doing what you enjoy so those two mm. questions Oh, and perfect. we also so, had uh, someone else in the comments box she Fatima Mohammed she's saying what's your advice for someone who wants to learn photography and someone else said um yeah i think those are the only mm-hmm. questions we have so far but yes yeah okay. so you could answer the questions and then and then proceed and um Uh, when you're done talking about these opportunities and we are welcoming more we are welcoming more questions please if you have questions or comments for Fahad uh, i know he has a lot to share with us uh, but let's not make him the only speaker in here let your voices be heard as well i'm sure for some of you these are new things that you're hearing you're learning new concepts at, um, today so please shoot Fahad will you also tell us because you know um, this industry way better what are the challenges as well so while you also tell us about the opportunities in this industry you would also maybe open our eyes and let us know what are the challenges uh, operating a business or starting a business in this industry uh, all right um asante sana so for for the first person who wanted to know about um legal requirements ukianza kampuni again sisi ni vijana we are, we are trying to seek opportunities right um I, and i know i wouldn't really want to be speaking on the politics side i'm on the legal side lakini as an entrepreneur you start where you at yani ukisema uanze kwanza na paperwork and then for you ndo uanze ku rebrand it will take you forever so how does most of us tulokuwa tumeanza tunaanzaje we start as briefcase companies as you are growing that's when now oh nahitaji leseni ya biashara unaenda unalipia leseni ya biashara ah sasa hivi ni mandatory kuwa na team number oh ngoja nikalipie team number oh nafika sasa sehemu inabidi we invest kwenye magari ya safari vehicle and you're like my safari vehicles cannot enter the national park until niwepo na nini niwepo na 
na na na na na, na leseni ya tala so you're like okay now it is about time to get tala so because i'm speaking to young entrepreneurs i'm not speaking to millionaires and billionaires over here i'm speaking to to wenzangu please start where you are start even digitally and then as you start digitally eshimu mipaka legally hicho ni kitu muhimu eshimu mipaka yani kwamba kama unajua unatakiwa uende ukapate mtinamba ili uweze kufanya biashara just go and get it but kuna vitu vingine as you're growing i would i wouldn't want to emphasize more on that but as you're growing that's where you buy you start focusing on all, all those other things but you could start digitally i'm just as a briefcase company start where you are anza hata kwa wewe kusafiri yani before even thinking of the legal requirements na nini hakuna mtu atakula atakwambia unahitaji kitambulisho fulani wewe kusafiri hapana unahitaji 5900 kuingia national park ya Tanzania and that's all you need that is the only legal requirement you will start as a traveler and then build yourself as from a traveler fall in love with traveling and then now you can grow your company into a bigger um, mm-hmm. magnitude a lot of people think oh. kwamba traveling is is very expensive yeah. mm-hmm. yani wanaweka traveling as a concept you do when you're rich you know when you have lots of money ndo unaweza ukasema let me go to zanzibar let me go to serengeti mm-hmm. but how is it also like traveling as a local person what are the charges like because you know before you even start a business in this sector you at least need to know these places are, are tourist attractions what yeah. what's your, so, yeah. what what i can tell my my fellow youngsters here is that what we are failing is we want to travel now without preparing ourselves mm-hmm. all these foreigners that they are flocking our country these people had to serve for years and years to come and have that unforgettable experience that's why our tagline as tanzania on the tourism board is tanzania unforgettable so for you to have an unforgettable experience it definitely that means lazima utachukua muda mrefu yani kujipanga ili uweze kukusanya flight kukusanya sijui uh, 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 posho hapa na hapa ili uweze kulipa labda travel agencies um, uh, host uh, hotels na vitu kama hivyo lakini what we should focus more on as as local travelers is start saving do your piggy bank every day every month every week once a year seven and then put your long term goals put your bucket list maybe this year realistic by the way realistic bucket list huh? this year i want to travel because maybe it's janza kusafiri ama ni shai kusafiri i will start maybe with two travel bucket lists so first once year january paka june nitasafiri mara moja alafu kutoka june mpaka december nitasafiri mara ya pili au kama budget yako ni ya shida then put just one year end of the year unasafiri ama on your birthday unasafiri ama on your um, employment leave that's when you travel but if you are flexible if you are flexible and zip tanzania has created a platform for local travelers whereby you can travel for less than 250000 we have trips ranging from laki 1 na 80 mpaka laki 3 so kwa kwa mwananchi wa kawaida it becomes very easy kusafiri na unasafiri imagine katika hiyo laki 3 umepata accommodation umepata chakula transportation umelipia uh the uh, mazingira unaoenda kuyaona how beautiful the scenes the activities umelipa guides umelipa kila kitu and also it is good to travel in groups rather than traveling alone so if you travel alone that means una hire gari mwenyewe so if the car is 200 dollars then you pay the 200 by yourself if a room is 150 dollars then you pay the 150 dollars alone while on the other side if you queue are with double occupancy that means either when na na na, na, na your, your loved one ama when na rafiki ama na mzazi you share the space you share the expenses it becomes affordable traveling uh, just to touch base uh, a, a brother and a mentor of mine um vini just reminded me that um um tozo's uh, national park to have tano mia tisa ni 11800 thanks a lot vini and shout out to you for always supporting my career and my dream out there and keep shining Um, I would like to go on the next question of uh, monetizing your work. Mm-hmm. You allow me? Yes. Yep. So, how do you monetize your work? Again, you you just don't go knocking people's doors and tell them please pay me for me to do your work. 
you have to go through a certain period of time whereby uta struggle ama uta invest in a brand so until you invest on a personal brand ama a company brand that's when you can actually be in a position to now start monetizing either your instagram flow could just be splendid amazing ama your blogs sasa hivi kwa mfano serikali yetu ya mama samia imeturuhusu kwa vloggers kuanza kuweka maudhui mtandaoni for free which used to be uh, tulikuwa tuna tuna kuna tozo ilikuwa lazima ulipie upate kibali na kitu kama hivyo so kurekebishwa kwa 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 sheria kama hivi inasaidia mtu yote kuanza kuwa kama vlogger so once you become a, a vlogger so unaweza kuanza kwenda kwenye restaurant yoyote ukanunua tu kahawa 10000 10000 5000 and you say today i will be vlogging and i will showcase uh, maybe grano coffee three different coffee say uh, um, uh, um, three different coffees that i found on this restaurant so your first video you are paying money to actually get your content but as time goes now you won't pay for the for the service people will pay for the service in return of you enjoying their service but now we the third stage which is usually the the lucrative and the best stage is the stage whereby people don't just want to give you a free service they will give you a free service come stay at our hotel but we will also pay you to stay at our hotel so it takes time put your goals not monthly put years goals and zip tanzania as a brand it has taken 4 years to be where it has been fahad food itself as a personal brand has not just became fahad food that you know as a travel influencer it took him more than 3 years to actually build him as a personal travel influencer kind of brand so it takes time and i would like to also give shout out to my other colleagues like ose dani sirikale and um, other guys who are out there creating content like uh Hansen Gotier and everyone else who are creating content for travel um companies and tour companies mm. now wow when they end up from zero and now they're making it to the to mm. the green pasture but the have you have uh, oh there's yeah. one more question okay yeah yeah advice to learning photography yeah advice to learning photography please mobile for if you have this then ikepembeni if you have <laughs> kama unataka kuanza photography basi anza tanda simu yani usisubiri kununua kamera laki 5 milioni 5 start where you are where you start that's where you will be your first step to baby step until you grow to become a bigger person and a creative person and maybe well known photographer kuliko ulipoanza maybe a year ago so mimi there's no advice my advice is kasome online naanza na simu okay yeah. great so for hard i think maybe uh there is there is a question that more it's uh, what's an 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 airbnb platform so i think maybe if you can go deep uh, after someone wants to understand more and also how does it operate and how does a person get a permit to get a campsite mm-hmm. okay yeah okay airbnb what is an airbnb so an mm-hmm. airbnb is a platform just come out guys to say as as we have seen in the past few years tuliona kuna uba uh, tuliona siju kuna 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 food sasa brands that are digitally helping people yani tumekuwa sasa digital digital creatures yani you don't have to go to a restaurant for you to get your food you can actually order your food online and get your food i'll say so the same thing hotels had invested so much in the buildings now mtu akaja huko digitally i can invest on a, on a platform ambayo inaitwa airbnb whereby people with homes wanazi list nyumba zao people in your properties wanazi list properties zao so it's more like an um a trip advisor booking.com but all, this is specifically for home owners yani mimi nina vyumba vitatu nyumbani kwangu kile chumba paka mgeni aje ndo kinatumika so kuliko kitu tumsubirie shangazi atoke labda Bukoba ama Moshi kwa nini nisiki haya over the weekend umeshaona so kuna platform nyingi ambazo kwa mfano you please write it down kuna platform nyingine inaitwa coach surfing coach surfing pia it is a platform ya ku host wageni bure lakini so mm. leo hii kama wewe unataka kwenda labda Kenya you want to go Kenya you una hela ama una hela ya ku ya kulipia hotel but you just want to stay for free check out coachsurfing.com kule unakutana na ma coach surfers coach surfers wao wanachofanya 
ni wako willing kwa mfano people kama kina Fahad mm-hmm. yani wanapenda tu kukutana na watu so they are willing to even host a traveler and give them authentic experience so hiyo coach surfing yenyewe ilianzishwa so that people can go kwa nyumba labda ya kina Peter na pita pale nyumbani kwao wanapika kutumia jiko la la kuni. So mtu mzungu ametoka zake nje katafuta coach surfing akakuta pita ame list experience yake come stay at my home we will cook food on a, on a, on a, on a firewood. Eh? Mzungu anapenda. So kama mm. kuna wadogo wengine wanapenda so you can try. So I was just giving you mfano lakini for an Airbnb you can list nyumba yako, chumba chako, eneo lako, campsite yako, kitu chochote. Lakini now Airbnb has gone an extra mile to now listing experiences. This is where there's so much opportunities for all those empower webinar um attendees wa leo. In in what sense? Kuna watu ni wapishi hapa ndani. Sio lazima ujue wewe ku ku, ku, nini? ku kusafiri u own to a company. Wewe unaweza kuwa na upishi wako uka 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 register katika Airbnb Airbnb as an experience as a Swahili food tutor. So wale wageni wote wanaokuja labda wewe uko Zanzibar, wanakuja Zanzibar, wanataka kujua uroje wanapikwa vipi. So pale tunakutana labda na mshikaji wetu Aljape who owns a home ama owns a room pale nyumbani kwake ama Aljape dada yake ni mpishi. Anajua tu kupika from a, a normal home based environment lakini kuna mtu no offense mtu kama labda Nancy anatoka bara and she wants like ah oh, i want to go to to Zanzibar but i loved the experience ya kuonja urojo but i would want to learn how to cook so you go to airbnb and search for people who are having experiences of kupika which are called culinary experiences so you can list a culinary experience in airbnb you can list um, a photographic uh, Uh, tutor experience you can list um, um, an experience ya kufundisha watu hata kuendesha boti you could list an experience ya kupeleka watu museum so anything that you're good at hata kufundisha boda boda mm-hmm. an experience ya kuwapandisha watu um, four different uh, transportation modes of Tanzania kwa mfano unamchukua mgeni asubuhi unamchukua labda hotelini unampeleka stop ya kwanza anaanza kupanda daladala stop ya pili anapanda majani Stop mm-hmm. ya tatu anapanda boda boda. Baadaye anapanda labda sijui anatembea na mbuga. <laughs> And people are paying for that. So Airbnb can take any experience as long as you 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 are uh, umetimiza vigezo vyao which usually wanaomba passport as an identification ili kukitokea tatizo wanazo mm-hmm. legal documents zako. Mm-hmm. Na ujue unachoenda kukifanya. Yaani kwa sababu kutakuwa kuta kuna list pale. But cha muhimu just go at www.airbnb.co and mm. uta, you will take it from there mimi naamini watu ni digital uh, watu yeah. wako wanaelewa they will read from tuna maswali mengi fahad all of question also mm. you know i loved fahad that you you, uh, you actually tapped the ivy kwenye 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 airbnb and for me i feel like uh, that's one how we see kwamba tourism has 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 really blown up in terms of uh, tech and Uh, innovation so sarabe ko pande wako how do you see the growth in innovation uh, in terms of tourism in tanzania yeah mm. okay so um uzuri sasa kwenye innovation hapa ndo kuna hao maguru ambao wa nje wali invest kwenye hizo airbnb and cold surfing lakini mm. sasa innovators huo ndo wakati wa kutembea na watu wa dunia inavyoenda. So mm-hmm. Tanzanians instead of just innovating maybe application za ma corporate world, mm-hmm. you can now start investing kwenye applications a booking site. Instead mm-hmm. of everyone goes to booking.com mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, mm-hmm. trip advisor trip indigo, we could have our own tanzania.com. Mm-hmm. Kwa mfano kuna mshikaji wangu anaitwa Idi, he's um he's an innovator. I will just say a little bit about his brand akijua atanisamee. He has a brand anaitengeneza kitu kinaitwa Safari Wallet. Mm. So imagine kwa wale watu ambao hawezi kusafiri, unaweza ukaanza kudunduliza pesa zako kidogo kidogo. Alafu pale unapokuwa tayari kusafiri, unachukua ule mpunga wako, uliokuwa kwenye ile platform ya Safari Wallet and you go travel na Unzip Tanzania ama mtu yoyote ambaye utataka wewe kusafiri naye. So it's such innovation ideas that watu wanakuwa nazo lakini uweze ukapata hizi ideas kama hauko kwenye industry ama kama hukai na watu walikuwa kwenye industry ama usome vitu vilivyokuwa kwenye industry. 
So yeah. It's a call to all innovators to sure. take a chance. Kabisa. Yeah. We have more comments. Namba ni ku run through some comments uh kwenye chat box yetu. Um watu wanasema yeah, anasema why would you recommend starting business as a briefcase agent? This is encouraging fly catcher reason. It's better to be within compliance. This is from Vine Sapra and then Lilian says um okay vine ame ame amemjibu lili anamemjibu vine anasema vine some businesses require you to be within compliance i believe fahad is talking about those that don't require any legal procedures early on influencers for example don't need any when they start uh vine yeah. i believe i believe he's a uh, he's a brother and he loves to challenge me especially <laughs> when i'm in such a platform it's just okay. <laughs> and i love people in my circle such as Vini. So Vini, I will give you a story about Vini. Vini, he owns now a very prominent tour, safari tour company. But trust me, Vini just didn't start by owning a safari company. Vini alianza uh, as a tour guide. Vini alisota sana chini, paka alipofika, hapo alipofika. So Vini, we are speaking to, to the Vini wa miaka kumi lopita. We are not speaking to the Vini wa sasa hivi. We are speaking to empower watu ambao wanataka kuwa empowered. Eh? So kina kina Fahad wa, wa, wa miaka mitano iliyopita. People that didn't have opportunity, nafasi za kazi zimekuwa shida sana. So and watu hatuna hatuna investment atujazaliwa katika familia za kitajiri. Hatu, hatuna transactions in the bank accounts that can make us legal kuomba mikopo so that we can start a proper office to ya kuwa na kiofisi hata cha meza moja so mimi i'm encouraging people to start usiwe fly catcher a fly catcher ni kule mtu anamboda mtu anamfata huko anamfata huko no 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 be professional create a brand you can create a briefcase brand you can create a digital brand yani kwamba anzip tanzania sasa hizi ukitaka kutukuta how to kutu ofisini kwa sababu ya covid unatukuta mtandaoni utaenda instagram utaenda facebook utaenda mm-hmm. twitter you, you go on linkedin bio pale utapata a, a, a tree of our uh, our links is gani unaweza ka join trips zetu so if if vini i'm in support of do not be a fly catcher mm-hmm. but start where you at i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a person that i usually tell all my friends anza cha muhimu ni anza so mm-hmm. kama utaanza kumconvince baba yako asafiri na mama yako then start by that and mm-hmm. then as you grow invest on your digital names digital platforms then go on and on and on but thank you so much Vini, for for challenging me i like such questions so if you have any other question people please bring them on yeah although we are out of time but yeah. we're just going to allow because i see there is um lots of positive comments saying this is eye open okay, so we we will let us finish on the opportunities you know okay, and then, then we'll come back yeah. to the question tower i'll see you on okay. tower so the other thing that we can we can dive into as you can see here ni, ni Dar es Salaam eh CEO 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 Dubai CEO South Africa ni Dar es Salaam and Dar es Salaam now is becoming a fast growing city in the world so Dar es Salaam itself apart from just being um a, 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 a corporate hub has a lot of history kuna watu ambao hawajui um, ni Chegwe Bar kuna kipindi alikuja Tanzania kujificha eh kina Michael Jackson walikuja Tanzania kina kina mwalimu Nyerere aliishi nyumba gani you understand kuna mtu yeye ajui hata soko la mwananyamala unanunua vipi ashazoea kwenda the supermarket so we also can invest ourselves on our free time by the way our free time so you could make as a start start at as a as an opportunity unaona maybe you are doing 95 over the weekend to become a city guide a city guide anafanya nini anaenda tu ana partner up na hotels anaji brand mtandaoni and what he does anamchukua mtu anampeleka katika kanisa la kwanza labda Dar es Salaam ambalo liko labda hapo kivukoni anamuonyesha hizi hapa ndo wavuvi wetu wanavuaje samaki au now a person maybe will take the uh, how to make kashata you know how to to do craft kuna wachongaji vinyago so when when most people come to Tanzania they only see the beauty of five star hotels and the and the safari experience they don't get to also see the local lifestyle of people in Tanzania so as a local city tour guides they have an opportunity for that another thing that people want to say how kabisa is that Tanzania is a home of beautiful marine parks kuanzia mafia zanzibar dar es salaam 
Bagamoyo Tanga kote huku sisi tuko along the coast watu wengi tunaogopa maji yani tumezaliwa coast lakini <laughs> tunaogopa maji mm-hmm. i don't know na rafiki yangu mayuri sijui kama anaweza kuogelea na <laughs> <laughs> but imagine now there are people that travel all the world just to come to Tanzania to see the the the, the world sharks that are found in the mafia kwa sababu hao viumbe wanaitwa world sharks wanapatikana tu Tanzania hawapati yes wanapatikana dunia nyingine kote lakini hapa Tanzania wanapatikana mafia in a specific period of time so it's easy for people who are dive instructor snorkeling instructor ukawa ukapata pia opportunity ukaenda zako ukaishi Zanzibar ukaenda ukaishi Pwani Mafia ukaenda ukaishi Pemba unaenza ukaishi hata Mombasa na ukaenda hata South Africa we have a, a lady right now her name is Nancy she not you there's another no, Nancy <laughs> is now in South Africa learning about marine uh, uh, biology and uh, and she's she's doing uh, a spectacular job katika ku, ku showcase uzuri wa, wa marine lakini pia kuna mtu anaitwa Yako the diver this young lady she's very young i think she's 23 22 she's uh, born and raised in Zanzibar and she is a diver she has a she, she's taking a bachelor of being a doctor but on her free time she's a diver and she's now about to become a dive instructor so that as an opportunity itself inampa nafasi ya kutengeneza an extra income huko atakapokuwa ama atapata Tanzania lakini tukumbuke kwamba hata kama uwezi kuwa dive instructor you can also sell uh hizo equipments unaweza kukodisha equipment so sometimes tusifikirie tu labda mimi nifanye uh-uh. you can also invest on them tunaweza tukasema labda raw materials ama zile um Uh, the, the, the things that are needed for instance hiking boots cam- camping gears and stuff like that hata kwa hiyo unaweza ku invest kwenye diving um, equipment another thing that you could base yourself into is activity based travels right now tuna watu ambao ni mayoki wanapenda yoga as you can see in the picture so you could even become a yoga instructor and have your own trips which unzip tuna about tunaanza kuwaletea sasa uh, very soon after the rainy season we're going to have um, a yoga retreat so hizi ni, ni vitu ambavyo sasa hivi vime vinaenda na trend ya lifestyle maisha yamebadilika watu wataki kelele sana ama mjini kuna kelele so people just want to meditate so you as a yoga instructor ama as a life uh, a life coach you could do your your events outside of the city and partner up with people like Anzip Tanzania kwa mfano let's say bro hapo wewe ni ni, ni labda ni, ni motivational speaker ama ni team building instructor so what you do una, una partner up with Anzip Tanzania and Anzip Tanzania inapeleka udzungwa and you do your life coaching in udzungwa awesome so you're making money in the travel industry i'm making money in the travel industry hosting you umeshona so activity based travels also ni ni opportunity kubwa na watu wengi bado hawajui tako um katika vitu ambavyo pia unaweza ka invest in ni mfano ukiacha ku invest katika um, museum ama um, uh, zoo na na, na na zoo kama za nyoka na vitu kama hivyo you could invest katika spa you know instead of just maybe investing kwenye 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 magari ma hotel you could invest on a very beautiful relaxing spa maybe by the coast of Zanzibar all the travelers who are coming to Zanzibar after they do their full day tour their mood is exhausted after a three day safari what were me choka and hotels no hotels cannot now run with the logistics that you call in and then run logistics that booking and also run the logistics that spa so what hotel owners usually do they partner up with people you come with bring up they give you a space you bring your equipments you bring your expertise and open up a spa mm-hmm. so it's also an opportunity no gondogo kama his watu watuzichukuli u serious kwa mfano there's a friend of mine uh, she has opened up a spa pale azura gym so basically the, the spa is called the coco spa people who stay at the azura um, azura premise pale kwa sababu wengi ni foreigners wanakodisha pale airbnb and stuff lakini pia kuna beach na kuna gym so what happens yeye sasa hata clientele yake wale watu expatriates wanaokuja kukaa pale labda wamekuja wiki wamekimbizana na corporate world 
end of the day, they go on a retreat at her spa. So she's not really traveling, but she's targeting travelers and Bawako into the mm -hmm. country. Okay. Um, destination events, kwa mfano, tunaweza tukazungumzia in, uh, in uh, Zanzibar, kuna Sauti za Busara, kuna film festival, in Uganda, kuna Nyege Nyege festival. So his destination festivals and events Unaweza pia ni ziko kwenye industry hiyo hiyo ya travel kwa sababu lazima watu watasafiri watu watahitaji accommodation watahitaji food watahitaji so many other things na pia mtu anapoenda kwa mfano kwenye sauti za busara it doesn't mean just a person ends up in the in the festival during the day people actually go to tour around and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then another thing is the lifestyle or a travel photographer which i believe i wouldn't really talk too much about yeah. it because I've already touched base about it and I would like to open up for questions. And wow. one last thing, one last thing that people could actually step into. Mm -hmm. All these I've shared, the opportunities of money making. How now can we make these opportunities 50 years from now? Is the opportunities available for our future generation? So another opportunity is for people who are known as conservationists. People that tell you, do not cut trees. Please mm. do not um, litter the beach. Please don't use plastic. Conservationists have a huge role into the, 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 the game, your yeah, 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 travel industry in Tanzania and the world. Because the marine uh, cannot exist if conservationists are not doing um, their, their actions towards that. The lions in Serengeti, they cannot exist if conservationists are not fighting against poachers. And all these uh, conservationist NGOs and organizations, they obviously get money from people, philanthropists, uh, whatever, uh, donors and stuff like that. And, and Zile Helen does not put up a Mishahara, Zile Helen does not put up Walipa Wale influencers or conservation of Tukamaigo. So let's take also opportunities of Kuziangalia, his own conservation uh, activities, like in Kwamfano, Labda on his own National Geo. National Geo in a tour donor, Kwanzia Labda dollar Eftano, Mpaka dollar Elfuam Sini, Paka dollar Laki, Okiwa na project Yako in Mandipo Vizuri, and Bao in a Musa Jami. Lakini pia inaifadhi mazingira. So it's an opportunity. Yes, haupewi ile hela ili wende kuishi kajenge mansion. Lakini unaweza kufanya kazi zako za kuifadhi mazingira. But also once you are ifadhi mazingira, so you are also traveling to local communities. You are going to the beach every day, maybe to clean. You also get to get the breeze. So there's more than just the money that you get, but also the experience that you get. Asante sana. Awesome. Wow, like Great. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. So Safari na Joe utakuwa unaanda your seven wonders of Tanzania. Na Joe umetu andalia. I've promised people in this room today kwamba they will be seeing the seven wonders. You've traveled Tanzania, you know. What are your seven wonders of Tanzania? So before we wind up, just a few more comments and questions, just briefly. Sitaweza kuuliza zote, but I'll do my best to touch base on uh, most of them. Uh, let's see. We have Kevin, Anauliza, Kevin Ongara, and Asima, which software do you use uh, editing your videos? Do you use for editing your videos? You can answer that quickly while I go to another question. Um, there are multiple um, apps. I'm using personally. I'm using Premiere Pro, but you can use anything from uh, Premiere Pro, uh, Final Cut. So say if you can have videos that when you see which this most of the people in travel influencers do to me as to 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 create our content. So you can use an application called Spark Camera. It's very easy. You shoot from the application. You edit the color from the application. You put music from the application. And it simplifies the job for you. Great, great, Kabisa. And uh, there is there is also another question where it says, "How do you approach the tour agencies and hotels on creating your contents and get all the getaways?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how do we approach tour agencies and tour companies to? So again, create a brand. Huh? Once yeah. you create your brand, your brand is going to sell you. It's either people will notice you or you will now have something to put on the table. You, you, you tell people, um, Mimi, I'm doing this, Mimi, I'm doing this, but people, what they really want to see is what you can actually deliver. So I would like to just tell the brother just to invest, 
uh, brand yake na na kufocus katika nini katika kufocus katika kujipush yeye kufanikiwa akifanikiwa yeye malengo yake hizi companies anakupeleka email unapotuma email unapoenda kufanya meeting people already recognize you people already know what you're doing and people are already willing even to spend for what you it's possible to, to offer this for free yani unaenda kama let's say imagine uh, this is my first um, attempt to approach a hotel or my restaurant as an influencer um naza nikamo approach labda manager nikamwambia i want to do this for yeah. free and it, yes. that approach yes. Yes. Um, recommend start for free start for free mm-hmm. start small no one believes in you in, in in what you are capable of doing until you show them once you show these people that you're capable of doing these things that's when people will be willing to invest in you so answer that's why i said you can even spend go have lunch there and mm-hmm. shoot the lunch Capisco. so that the person has done i'm giving you a free a free thing and i don't know your work i don't know who you are you know so start from where you are actions okay. speak louder mm-hmm. yeah. actions speak louder than words great yeah there is no. a comment in the no. question no. Huh? there is okay there is a comment and also a question from joyce Uh, where she says i have noticed there is a disconnect between travel companies hotels lodges restaurants and working with local content creators to showcase or experience the products they offer some some companies don't understand the concept or value tanzania content creators can bring to their business which is such a shame what do you think travel creators can do to tackle this issue i think it's also Uh, connects with the very first mm. very I, i feel like this is one of the best questions that we have had today so basically this is one of the challenges that we have asked me to to show to tell you a little bit of challenges this is one of the challenges that we face content creators and uh, people that promote uh, the country in general so the easiest way is this prove with your kpis and numbers mm. if this person tells you ah me i don't think if i pay you 500 for you coming and shoot at my place then i can get numbers go on your instagram if you are using a, a professional um uh, instagram go on insight tell them this is how many views i get mm. this is how many shares of videos when i post they get this is how many people save this is how many people view my story mm. so that You know again show them lakini like, hizo numbers they just don't come you wake up and I'm a travel influencer please give me a job no it takes time it takes time for you to build up those KPIs and numbers and once you get them yeah still they will just want you know people are stingy they're naturally stingy but some people will understand those people who do not understand they are not your clientele mm-hmm. go to those people mm-hmm. who know the value of content and if they they say influencing is is out of their expense then have something extra that's why as as a photographer i come in as a photographer but also i come in as, as an influencer so kichomoa kwenye influencer nitakula ile hapo kwenye travel kwenye travel photographer so have ukichomoa kwenye travel photographer i will become your digital consultant mm. so have multiple careers and nowadays we're in a digital world i insist we're in a digital world take mm-hmm. time and go through facebook blueprint kuna influencers blueprint zimejaa mtandaoni kazi so many is gani unaweza ukawa influencer unaweza ukawa wewe hata ni digital marketer wa hotel lakini hujui kwa sababu hujasoma wewe ni doctor lakini i have a friend who is a doctor ndo admin wa hoteli fulani hapa dar es salaam but alifanyaje alienda akasomea ile vitu online ila kulipia hela so have multiple uh, um, talents that they can uh, they can zinaweza zikakuwakilisha na zinaweza zikasimama katika kuchukua hiyo deal ama win your tender Mm, okay we have Khalid Mohammed and he says if uh, we'll be allowed by panelists attendees can share topic related links of his or work pages social media for others to see and possibly support yeah i think uh, you can you you can share maybe you can tell us your social media handles just put them on the comment section your social media handles and people that are interested can follow and check out your work 
I think we've okay. received lots of positive comments, Fahad. Mm. We want to see your seven wonders of Tanzania. Uh -huh. yeah. This is the highlight of this event. So I've, um, I've, I've, I've shared um, the, my, my, my tagline is Fahad underscore Fuad and Unzip Tanzania. You can go there and you can see all what I do. And once you're on Fahad Fuad um, bio, check out the other brands that are also um, mm. uh, with uh, me. So yes. Tell it as well. Me. I think if you have um if you also are a content mm -hmm. creator and you'd like people to see your work, please uh you can also freely share right, your right. content or your channel here and people can follow you. Yeah, I think we we are here to connect. You never know who will be your next client. You could be someone with another version of mm -hmm. Unzip Tanzania and Bro. this could be a platform where you gain um you are your 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 clients so so i think i've covered all the questions in the yeah. comment section if i've left out anything drop it in the in i mean i've covered everything in the q a box if i've left out anything drop it in the in the comment section fahad are you ready to share with us your seven wonders so will i share or finish kabisa um finish, uh, finish and then share okay because oh, we <laughs> again, I would like yeah. to say thank you to, 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 to everyone who have joined this webinar. It's one of the biggest webinars I've ever attended to. And um, I'm, I'm proud and I'm happy that I'm now able to share all my experiences and these opportunities that they're out there at once with so many people in, in, in this webinar. And Empower, you guys are doing a great job. Keep empowering us. Um, and keep empowering those people out there, the youngsters who are looking for opportunities and stuff like that. And God bless you and bless everyone. And for all those travel influencers, travel vloggers who are commenting right now, we are the future of travel industry in Tanzania and the world. Mm -hmm. No matter what, do not give up. Let's keep pushing and support one another. Collaborate, collaborate as much as you can. Asante sana and enjoy my video. And I hope to connect with you guys soon in Dar es Salaam or anywhere in the world. Okay. Uh, just a second. Sorry. Stop share. <laughs> and then I will share again. All right influencer from mm. just having a okay so, enjoy my name is Fahad and I'm a travel influencer from Tanzania and here are some of the reasons to why you should make Tanzania as your next travel destination. Tanzania is the land of the highest peak in Africa with Mount Kilimanjaro. But again, Tanzania has the deepest lake in Africa, which is Lake Tanganyika. Tanzania is the ground of the wildebeest migration, but also Tanzania hosts the largest prides of lions and wild dogs in Africa. Tanzania is the most cultural diverse in Africa with over 126 different cultures which are all united by one language which is our Kiswahili. Tanzania is very rich in history from the evolution of man and the discovery of the skull of the human being in Old Gauch by Dr. Liki to the shortest war in history which took place in Zanzibar between Zanzibar and the United Kingdom for only 45 minutes the war lasted. If you think we're done, then we are not. Tanzania is the home of seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites, starting with Gorongoro Crater, Mount Kilimanjaro, Serengeti, Selukem Reserve, Kondo Airangi, Zanzibar, and without forgetting, Kilwa is one. And if you're not finding all these we have mentioned still convincing for you to visit Tanzania, then we welcome you just to come and get the sun back at many of our untouched clean as rural pictures from Pemba, Mafia, and Zanzibar. What are you waiting for? Start parking your bags and come to Tanzania. Sante Sana and yep. mm. see you guys Thank soon. You. Thank you for hosting yeah. me. And I hope we unzip Tanzania together very soon. 
And just to, 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 to finish up, we are having our next trip to Kilimanjaro mm -hmm. on 13th to 16th. On each day, we're going to be traveling to, uh, to Kilimanjaro and we're going to go and witness all the water bodies that are found in Kilimanjaro, whereby we'll see a hot spring, which is Kikuleto hot spring. We're going to go to a waterfall, which is a Mataruni waterfall, and we're going to visit a lake that is known as Lake Chala. So three different experiences. And one thing that is coming soon is the overlanding experience with Anzeb Tanzania. This is something that you don't have to miss out through this whole year. And if you want to know the calendar and the itinerary for Anzeb Tanzania and where we're going next, please go at Anzeb Tanzania and click the link on the bio. We'll get the, the itinerary for our Kilimanjaro trip, but also a list of other trips that are remaining this year. Sante sana. Let's Thank connect. you. Powerful. Thank, Sana. Thank, Thank you, Thank you all. Yeah, and uh, of course, we usually have um, we have this Empower Academy every end of the month. Yep. So stay tuned. You never know who will be our next speaker. We're going to be sharing lots of information that's crucial to you as a young person. And if you have any ideas, you'd like to be a speaker in the coming Empower Academy, drop us a comment or go to our website and write us an email. You can call us and we are free to take your ideas. So Karibuni Sana, for those who do not know Empower, Empower is a recruitment agency. We deal with um, different, um, we offer different services for, for companies, starting with advisory, recruitment, to team building team activities building. and retreats, to um, research and insight, data-driven mm -hmm. decisions for companies. But we also have That's a you. brand and PR department that can help your company um, you know, get to, to the public and have the right audience. But also we have a youth department which organized this webinar. And if you want to know more, please feel free. We have a social media account. I'm sure most of you have seen um, our post on social media. You can visit our website, visit our social media handles to know more. Until next time, thank you so much for joining us. Peace. Thank Any you. final words? Bye bye. Uh, actually, for me, I'll just say, Kova, uh, thank you all for being part of this amazing call. And I hope that we have actually learned a lot. We have a lot of takeaways. Uh, but also, yes, let's make uh, uh, Tanzania our home. Let's really invest our time and really explore. And uh, I, as, as you've seen, there's a lot of beauty. Yeah. And also, let's not just uh, invest in seeing the beauty of Tanzania, but also as young people, let's make that as part of our revenue streams because there yeah. is a lot that we can there's do. a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. for Fahad. I'm sure he has more to yeah. share with you. Until next time, bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much.